Well, greetings and welcome to the side angle side compass construction worksheet. We'll get right into it. We're going to demonstrate side angle side with these two given segments. I'll call them red and blue and the included angle, the green angle between them. We're going to start first by completing triangle BAD. We can see that we're AD is the longer or red segment with the included, included angle, sorry, green at vertex A. So remember, compass construction is the first thing we do. We're going to take our compass. We're going to set it to the length of this blue segment because this is how we do it. We're going to swing a little arc there. Remember, we're not measuring. We then pick up our compass and we're going to put the needle now on the vertex A. After you do that, then you just simply swing an arc. And you can see what the point is here. All you're doing is marking off that distance. And you're and that well, that phase is done. Pretty easy, huh? So let's let's see what we've got. Move the compass out of the way. That intersection gives me point B. So I've marked off this distance. So I could complete this triangle. I'm going to draw this segment in with my straight edge. And then I could draw the third side, but you know, for purpose of instruction, I'm just going to shade the triangle. I want to emphasize that BAD, this unique triangle, was constructed purely of the red and green segment and the included angle. Now comes the more interesting part, and that is to duplicate triangle BAD to triangle KWP, making congruent triangles. We first analyze the segments BA matches KW, the first two letters. Right here, this is all we need to look for, because the A, which is the vertex of the green angle, must match the vertex of angle W right there. So that tells us which side of this segment to put the angle on. Clearly, it has to be on the W. Now, it could be on the left or the right, but I didn't leave you any room on the left. So that's, um, I did that on purpose, so I'll do it the same way. Now, here comes the angle copy procedure. Oh, boy. Take your compass. Put the needle on the given angle. Then you're going to swing this random arc. I've got it open to a, a random distance, just like that. And you're make, all you're doing is making a mark. Then you're going to pick up, your, you know, pick up that needle, put the needle on the W. And you're going to swing this arc again, right there. So all you've done is duplicate an arc. Okay. So I suppose I can get the move my compass out of the way. I'm going to reset my compass. I'm using different color here, but it's, it's really the same compass. Just to show you the different swings, I'm going to put the needle now in this intersection. This is the intersection here of this random arc and one ray of my angle. You may have to watch this a couple times, but I think you'll get it and you'll say, wow, this is cool. And I'm going to swing this. I've got to set the compass so that it swings through there. And I think I hit it just by luck. Oops, off a little bit. But right there, it's got to swing through the intersection. Set your compass. It'll be a different length. Set your compass so you intersect the other ray and your original random arc. Then you're going to pick your compass up, and this is the tricky part. You're going to put the needle right there. You're going to put the needle right there where your random arc intersected this segment. Okay, And now you're going to draw this arc, and there you go. As you'd expect, you produce an intersection right there, just like you have on your given angle over there. See this intersection matches the intersection right here. That's all you are after. This is the angle copy procedure. So I can move this compass out of the way and pull up 
my straight edge. Yes, your straight edge. And the next job to do is make a ray. So I'm going to extend a ray. And this ray will have its vertex at W. And I'm going to pass through this point. But don't make it short. Make it good and long because you really got to make sure that you got enough room to accommodate that segment, the blue segment. You know the blue segment is not quite as long as the red one, but you extend this long enough, it's, it's not going to hurt. Make sure you don't, you don't make it short. So I can move this, back this off a little bit. And the only thing left to do now is mark off the distance. You see I've got the side, I've got the red side, I've copied the green angle, and, oh, and I could put that green angle tick mark in there. I'm going to go one, two, three, right there. So draw yourself that tick mark to show you've got the congruent angles. All you need is this third side. And how do you do that? Of course, you're going to go back, you're going to reset your compass. I think I already left this one set this way. Just make sure it's still set. And I'm going to set my compass to mark off the blue distance. And I'm going to place the vertex right there. Put the needle there. And that's it. This compass swing marks off my final distance. And then I should be able to move this out of the way. Move this compass out of the way. And I've generated point K. I draw on WK and I've created a triangle. And what I've got now is I've got triangle BAD, BAD, congruent to triangle KWP. And you can see that there, these two triangles are reflected and rotated. So that's the relationship between the two. Wow, that was a lot of work. And we've got another one to do, and um, we'll call it good. Now let's move on to the next construction of the worksheet. So you didn't have that many to do. We've got our original triangle BAD that we started with. We're going to make it congruent to triangle SVT your given VT up here. And clearly there's no room above it, so you've got to work below and you've got to make your triangles there. Just like we did before, look at the letters. BAT, SVT. The A and the V are your match, so angle, the given angle at A is going to be placed at V. So right now we're going to go right to the angle copy method. And we do the angle copy method you remember this? Let's do it again. I've moved the angle, um, our given angle over here, make it a little easier. Line up the needle of your compass right there. And so let's see, give it a, and give it an arbitrary swing. You can really use the swing you put in the last time, but I'm just repeating this because you all need some practice. And then we're going to move it over here. Put the needle on the V. And again, we're going to give it a little bit of a swing right there. That's our random arc. It's the same random arc though. Okay, so let me move that, let me move that out of the way. And we're going to pull in, we're going to reset our compass. And um, we're going to reset our compass and now put the needle right here. And I'm using different colors again so you can follow it a little better. And I just set my compass so that the arcs swing through there. I say, okay, now I've got a dynamic swing. That looks good. And now I've got to pick up, well, hang on. I need to move this a little bit more. I'm going to pick up my compass, put the needle down here this time. And now I swing like this. And again, you produced an intersection right there. 
You all see it? I know you do. So let's, we can get our compass out of the way. And let's take our straight edge. Where do we put that straight edge? Oh, I know I have it here somewhere. And we're going to line up from here to here. Now, oh, sorry, I can't find my straight edge. So we'll just take a ray from here. We want to pass it through there. But let's, again, let's make sure it's long enough. Like that. So now you've got the angle in there. We can take, make our, mark our congruent angle so we don't lose track of what we got. We've got the side and the angle. And again, we just need to copy the side. And the side we're looking for is right there is going to be SV. So we need to find point S. And just like we did before, we're going to take this instrument here, we'll take the blue one, and we're going to set it to this length right there. And let's see what we've got right there. Okay, that looks good. And so let's just bring this instrument over here. Put the needle of the compass on the V. And swing this arc. And right now, that's really, that's it. And we'll get this out of the way. Right now, we are done. Because that intersection should be point S. A uh, little mechanical error on my part. It should have been over there a little more. And my triangle, my resulting triangle, is SVT. So I've got triangle SVT congruent to triangle BAD.